U.S. steps up North Korea drills with supersonic bombers as Kim S. Men say war is when not if the United States and South Korea S. drills on the edge of North Korea moved up a gear today when two American B-1B bombers joined compact drills. North Korea, which had tried to stop this year's annual war drills, has retaliated with a war of words, saying they are looking at when the war will break out. The supersonic heavy bomber B-1B aircraft have been used by the United States in Afghanistan and Iraq. They moved in on the fourth day of the five-day exercise called Vigilant Days, which features a total of 230 aircraft, including a range of the U.S. military's most advanced stealth warplanes. It comes a week after North Korea tested its most powerful intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM to date which it says can reach the mainland United States. The United States' confrontational warmongering was making the outbreak of war now an established fact, according to North Korea's foreign ministry. In a statement sent via North Korea's state news agency Kna a spokesman for the ministry said, The remaining question now is, when will the war break out? We do not wish for a war but shall not hide from it. China, North Korea's neighbor and lone major ally, again urged calm and said war was not the answer. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Zheng Shang said in a statement, We hope all relevant parties can maintain calm and restraint and take steps to alleviate tensions and not provoke each other. The outbreak of war is not in any side's interest. The ones that will suffer the most are ordinary people. The North Korean ally has been telling its citizens how to prepare for nuclear war, in the latest signal the world could be on the brink of conflict. Tensions on the Korean peninsula have risen markedly in recent months after North Korea's latest missile and nuclear tests, conducted in defiance of UN Security Council resolutions and international condemnation. On Wednesday, a U.S. B-1B bomber flew from the Pacific U.S. administered territory of Guam to join the exercises, which will run until Friday. The flights by the B-1B, one of America's largest strike aircraft, have played a leading role in Washington's attempts to increase pressure on North Korea to abandon its weapons programs. In September, B-1Bs were among a formation of U.S. military aircraft that flew further north up North Korea's coast than at any time in the past 17 years according to the U.S. Pacific Command. That prompted North Korea's foreign minister, Ro Dylan Yong-ho, to warn the North could shoot down the U.S. bombers even if they did not enter North Korean airspace. Yang Yuk, a senior fellow at the Korea Defense and Security Forum said, B-1B bombers have been regularly dispatched to the Korean Peninsula over the past years. However, it seems that the U.S. Air Force might have enhanced its training to better prepare for actual warfare. While B-1Bs are no longer equipped to carry nuclear weapons of their own, they would be key to 